I acknowledge the traditional custodians of these lands and waters, the Gubbi Gubbi people. Sovereignty was never ceded. I pay my respects to their elders past, present and future. Welcome and thank you for coming out tonight or for tuning in at home for this inaugural vision for a new Gympie public forum event. Tonight's topic is water security and resilience for Gympie and Queensland. Many of us in this region have been enjoying some much needed rainfall throughout the winter on the back of a long, hot, dry summer and a longer period of drought before that, leading to the catastrophic fires that heralded 2020. Farmers have seen their dams dry up, crops fail, and livestock die. Householders have become accustomed to negotiating water restrictions, and decision makers at all levels continue to explore options to ensure that we don't run dry in the future. While there is public debate about the causes of and solutions to seasonal droughts or the threat of enduring mega droughts, we can all agree that water is life and supply must be secured. But what of resilience? Resilience in this context, along with familiar terms such as shock to the system and tipping point, derives from systems thinking. Brian Walker and David Salt, in their 2012 book, Resilience Practice, Building Capacity to Absorb Disturbance and Maintain Function, defined resilience as the capacity of a system to absorb disturbance and reorganize so as to retain essentially the same function, structure, and feedbacks, to have the same identity, Put more simply, resilience is the ability to cope with shocks and keep functioning in much the same way. Resilience is a quality of a system that makes it stable and resistant to change if subjected to shocks, which, if too great, would cause that system to cross the tipping point of a critical threshold and irreversibly change its identity and function. Resilient systems be they ecological, social, or economic, are diverse, integrated, decentralized, and operate within their limits. We must bear this in mind when applying ourselves to the question of water management in Gympie, Queensland, and beyond. Which brings me to the first of our four speakers this evening. <laughs> 